from two thousand dollars my rent is almost fifteen hundred five hundred what's left for food in and um groceries and that's that's nothing and i am using what two thousand canadian dollars na natatanggap mo buwan buwan that's nothing grabe <laughs> na si ate mga curbs panoorin natin yung kabuuan ng video ni ate na taga vancouver no pilipina pa naman siya panoorin natin no baka maintindihan natin bakit yan nasabi na ang two thousand canadian dollars na binibigay ng government is nothing para sa kanya so yan sige play muna natin 82 billion dollars, more than 77 million dollars, 100 million dollars. I want you to know that we'll be there to help you. The announcement started in March. Millions and billions of dollars at a time. Money first to help workers suddenly out of a job and businesses not allowed to open. The Canada Emergency Response Benefit will provide $2,000 a month. We're facilitating a wage subsidy up to 75%. Then came $9 billion to help post-secondary students, $2.5 billion for seniors, and money for farmers. $125 million National Agri-Recovery Initiative. All of it adding up to a staggering total, more than $150 billion and counting. So the question, of course, are these measures helping Canadians? Is this enough? Nim Calvez was laid off from her job as a hotel attendant, and she joins me now from Surrey, British Columbia. Good to see you, Nim. Hi, Rosemary. Thanks for having me. So you were laid off, not surprisingly, as hotels and the tourism sector closed down. What have you, uh, what have you done to help yourself, and how has the government helped you? Um, the government... Um help us with the CERB, the $2,000 um, benefit that they're giving us. But aside from that, there's not much available for for the workers. And it's pretty disappointing, but we're hoping in the long run or long term, the government will figure out something for the workers, especially in my industry. We are the most hardly hit because we 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 rely on tourism for for our business and for our our work and seeing how things right now it's gonna be a while before people want to travel or stay in hotels well and i think your issue is more complicated because the two thousand dollars is not just helping you it's also helping your daughter who is in the philippines is that right yes so aside from myself I'm helping a family in Philippines and I'm sending them money mostly every month. And the living expenses in Vancouver alone is very expensive. From $2,000, my rent is almost $1,500, $500 what's left for food in, and um, groceries. And that's, that's nothing. And I am using other resources like credit card to stay afloat. And, and how long do you think you can go on like that now? Um, that's not long. Like after a couple of months, and I'm not just speaking for myself, I'm speaking for, for my coworkers, the hotel industry, and I'm sure a lot of us, not just hospitality industry, is hit hard with this. The majority of, of, of workers are, are struggling, and it's very devastating for for everyone to navigate in this um, hard times. Sure. Um, I'm going to talk to the finance minister in a moment. If you had anything that you wanted to ask him, what, what would you say to him? Um, I'd like the government to think of, of helping workers in the long term, because right now it's, it's fine. But after maybe a month or two, even right now, we're not okay. It's uh, where we lose half of our, our our wages, and that's very hard. But we can manage for short term. Long term, we need the government to think about how how are we gonna survive as as an mm -hmm. industry. As I've said, like we rely on tourism, and it's gonna be sure. a while before it's gonna come back. Who knows if we're gonna come back this year? We're thinking more likely it's gonna take us 18 to 24 months to recover, and. Yeah losing our job it's we or we also lose our health benefits uh 
and our our right to return to work is 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 on jeopardy as well. So we're not just looking at financially, but we mm -hmm. are looking with a big picture and our future. It. And it's very sad because a lot of us we have put 20, 30, 40 years of our lives doing this job and and it's it's so devastating that we don't know what the future holds and no one can answer it for that. Right now we're just waiting for for what's available to us and the two thousand dollars. I'm not speaking just for myself. I'm sure I'll, it's not it's not enough. Okay, Nim Calvez, thank you so much. I'll put some of that to the finance minister. Uh, I wish you good health and uh, and good luck there. Thanks for speaking with us. Very thank much. you very much for having me. See na folks. Na, nakita na natin yung kabuuan ng interview ni Ate na taga Vancouver. No? Isa siyang Pilipina na nagtatrabaho, ay, tata, tata, nagtatrabaho sa isang hotel. So, hotel industry daw. Siguro, opinion din niya yun. No? Hindi natin alam kung ano yung mga gastusin niya aside sa 1,500 na apartment niya. No? Okay lang naman yun. Siguro, malaki yung kita niya sa, sa, sa sahod niya sa hotel. Kaya, afford niya yung 1,500 na apartment <coughs> sa Vancouver. No, si talagang mahal talaga yung ano, cost of living doon sa Vancouver. Uh, ano, re, uh, nire-respeto ko siya kasi hindi naman sa naiintindihan ako, uh, naiintindihan ko siya at pabor ako sa kanya. Pero yung tinitingnan niya lang siguro is yung uh, yung long term na na kalagayan niya. Paano kung tatagal pa to? Uh, kakayanin ba ng 2,000 Canadian dollars yung mga pangangailangan niya? Uh, magpapadala pa siya ng pera sa Pilipinas sa siguro sa parents niya, hindi natin alam sa anak niya, sa kapatid niya, paano yung mga tinutulungan niya. Pero yun nga lang, baka iniisip ko baka uh, pinsan ata ito ni Coco Martin, no? Si ate, parang para paras lang sila. Si, dapat lang kasi, si ate, no? Dapat grateful na, grateful, grateful na lang siya sa natatanggap niya na 2,000 no? dollars na binibigay ng uh, Canada sa kanya. Kasi 2,000 Canadian dollars para magstay ka lang sa bahay, No? Malaki na yun. Ang dami-dami ngayon na nagtatrabaho mga essential workers. Like nagtatrabaho sa mga groceries. So, nag-deliver, mga ganun. So, nag-re-rest pa sila sa mga buhay nila. Pero, hindi umaabot ng 2,000 Canadian dollars yung monthly nila. So, yun sana yung uh, iniisip ni ate bago niya binibitawan. No? At least man lang nagpasalamat siya. Yung napakita siya na uh, sobrang ano, na-appreciate niya yung uh, effort ng government. No, kahit sa mga student, may provided na uh, fund yung government no, para mag-survive sila habang nasa sitwasyon tayo ngayon ng uh, quarantine ng COVID. So, yun lang yung masasabi ko. Dapat uh, magpasalamat ka na lang ate. No? At uh, parang nadamay pa tayo mga Pilipino noon. Lalo-lalo na yung andito sa Canada. Parang nakakahiya. No? Pero siguro, pero yun yung opinion niya. So, wala din tayong magagawa. Depende na lang sa uh, nanonood. Pero nakakahiya talaga. Alam ko na marami marami magre-react na ibang lahi, lahi doon. Kasi hindi lang naman mga Pinoy, hindi lang mga, mga nagtatrabaho sa hotel o ano pa man. Lahat, lahat ng klaseng trabaho ngayon na uh, nakapektuhan. So, ngayon sikat na sikat ka ate. So, yun mga kakarms, no? Dapat magpasalamat na lang tayo sa konting biyaya na, na natatanggap natin ngayon. Kasi uh, lahat naman, lahat ng uh, bansa ay uh, nahihirapan, lahat ng ekonomiya. So, lahat ng tao, mula sa pinakamayaman hanggang sa pinakamahirap na apektuhan ngayon. So, maraming salamat mga ka sa panunoon.